Welcome to a gentle introduction to Bitsy. Bitsy can be found at bitsy.org, where you can make games, play games, read the documentation, and access other resources. Bitsy is designed for creating little games, worlds, and stories. When we create projects with Bitsy, we create games. These games are divided into sections called rooms. Each room has an avatar, tiles, sprites, and items. There will always be a single avatar, but there might be multiple tiles, multiple sprites, and multiple items. Let's define each of these in turn. The avatar is the thing moved by the player. Generally, it's a character on the screen, but it might be something else. Tiles are backgrounds or walls. A sprite allows multiple interactions, and an item, when it's interacted with, is used up. Items are collected. When we create in Bitsy, we create using different tools. By default, we have a Room Tool, Paint Tool, and Download Tool. And these can be found in the default layout within Bitsy. Shown right here, we have, from left to right, the Room Tool, Paint Tool, Colors Tool, and one final tool called Download. When we create in Bitsy, we follow multiple rules. And these rules are put into place to help us create small stories. First, we can only have three colors at a time. As previously shown with the colors tool, we have a background color, a tile color, and a sprite color. We also have 16 by 16 block rooms and 8 by 8 avatar tiles, sprites, and items. When we create avatars, tiles, sprites, or items, they are one room block large. To help us make sense of this, let's revisit the layout. So we see from left to right the use of the room tool with its 16 by 16 layout, and within that we have an avatar and we have a sprite, each of which are one room block large. Next to that we have the paint tool, and currently selected is the avatar, which is 8 by 8 blocks using the colors. The colors are selected as part of the colors tool, with the background color, tile color, and sprite color currently selected. We use these colors to paint avatar tiles, sprites, and items, and then from the paint tool, we can then use the room tool to then paint those things within a corresponding room. Remembering, of course, that we divide up our games to sections called rooms, which have avatar tiles, sprites, and items. Finally, we can download and upload Bitsy games as HTML, Hypertext Markup Language. This is a format that web browsers understand, which means once you create a game in Bitsy, it can be played on many different things, tablets, laptops, desktops, and many other things. Let's close this by focusing on this last tool. Once you've created your project online using Bitsy, you can download it and share it with another person. Potentially, if another person has created a game and they want to share it with you or you want to collaborate together, you can upload their game, work on it, download it, and share it with another person. This makes collaboration fairly easy as long as you're sharing HTML files back and forth through email, Dropbox, or other re online resources like that. So this has been an introduction to Bitsy. Again, we make small games, little worlds, little stories. We do so creating rooms. These rooms have avatar, tile, sprites, and items. We use the tools and the default tools available to us when we first load up Bitsy is the room tool, the paint tool, colors tool, and of course, the download tool. We can download our games and share them with others. Thanks for watching.